हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर सुजय शंकर मेहर आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय एमबीबीएस एंड आई एम नाउ करेंटली परसूइंग पी ए पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ चेस्ट एंड पल्मोनरी मेडिसिन विच आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस यूट्यूब चैनल एज एन आई ओपनर फॉर द पब्लिक एंड पेशेंट्स रिगार्डिंग पल्मोनरी मेडिसिन वट एवर डाउट्स दे आर हैविंग रिगार्डिंग दिस पल्मोनरी मेडिसिन और चेस्ट एंड रेस्पिरेटरी डिजीजेस they this may be the hope this serves as an eye opener to them and serves most of their queries so now coming to today's topic today's topic is uh, use of a meter dose inhaler through a uh, meter dose inhaler through a uh, spacer so uh, this is what is uh, actually is known as meter dose inhaler this is a meter dose inhaler this is a meter dose inhaler as you can see as you know this i have explained this is the cap this is the canister which comes out but you don't have to do with this any time so this is the cap this is how it is used and this is a max spacer this is a basically the max spacer this is a spacer no uh, which is goes by the name max spacer this is the mouthpiece you have to open it like this this is the mouthpiece and uh, here is the back piece where the spacer where the meter dose inhaler fits so now coming to the problem. now coming how to use how to use this first uh, you take the spacer enter it here in the back of this then this is now ready to use so uh, this is the mouthpiece this is the mouthpiece you have to put in one there is a valve here there is a valve here there is a valve here and you have to inhale in this and exhale in this only inhale in this and exhale in this so this is the mouthpiece you have to inhale in this you have to exhale in this so now firstly you have this canister contains the medicine this canister contains the medicine you press uh, if it if i press it here then the medicine medicine is delivered medicine is delivered here and i inhale and exhale from this part the procedure is one press five inhales five exhales now i will demonstrate it i will demonstrate it straight wise i will demonstrate it sideways so it is easy for you to understand now coming to the demonstration part see i will press it once and inhale exhale five times for one press now i'll demonstrate it this sideways see one press and inhale exhale five times so here this contains a valve this contains a valve when you inhale this valve opens and when you exhale this valve closes and the air comes out of this so you don't have to worry about this only thing is press this once inhale exhale five times you inhale you press this you inhale you exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale this is like this five times one press five times so as if you are prescribed by your physicians two puffs twice daily or two puffs once daily as you are prescribed if you have to prescribe two puffs twice daily then press this once take this five times inhale five times exhale five times then you press once inhale five times exhale five times similarly you repeat this procedure once in the morning once in the evening if it is two puffs twice daily or if it is two puffs once daily then take two puffs only once okay and the most important part is that you have to uh, rinse your mouth after this you have to rinse your mouth after completing this procedure that after taking two puffs like this yeah yes we have taken two puffs press it one then again once then you have to rinse your mouth with normal plain water with normal cold water it's uh, not required you have to there do it is hot water so this is a max spacer different type of spacers are available in the market this is an air space spacer i have demonstrated this all already in this uh, in a video the same procedure for this also i have also demonstrated i will put the link or description below so that you can check out this and uh, this is for max spacer this is a max spacer these are from different companies this is from mattioid this is from this is from mankind this is no goes by the name air space this is more than a max spacer basically these are spacers these are two different types of spacers and uh, the work is same now coming to this inhaler this inhaler is actually it uh, in some inhalers you will get a reading here is a reading it shows 0 120 
or 100 in when you initially buy this it is it shows a reading of 120 and then then you go on using this then it comes to zero when it comes to zero you know that all of the medication or drug has been finished no further required to use this okay now this inhaler can be of different types these inhalers are various various inhalers are available in the market uh, this inhaler is basically a meter dose inhaler with uh, meter dosing here in market we also get inhalers which have digital dosing here digital there is a digital uh, here it is manually done it uh, moves uh, 20 or 40 rotation uh, 20 or 40 markings go at one time but in digital you can have accurate uh, uh, measurement each dose uh, if after each dose there is a one decrease after each dose there is a one decrease so uh, this depends upon the type of inhaler that have been prescribed by your physician nothing to worry about this so basically but uh, gone are the days when we use the inhalers like this this is no more this is obsolete because in this a uh, hand on coordination is required see when i press this it's a hand lung coordination is required i press this and i uh, take inhale from my lungs it's a very difficult uh, thing to be done uh, old uh, old persons and children cannot do this so hand lung coordination is not achieved properly so uh, people come to us with complaints that uh, this inhaler whatever you given to the physician they come to him with a complaint that whatever medication he has not given it's not working it's not like that the only thing is that whatever this you are using whatever you are not taking it properly we need the medications to be delivered to the lungs okay now coming on this so this is uh, this is the demonstration that i have given you hope this serves as an eye opener to you and uh, hope that you have been cleared about uh, the demonstrations that i have given uh, now now we shall stick to the topic that uh, i have told you described over this patient and hope this demonstration uh, helps you a lot and i have i it's my pleasure that i could demonstrate you this so that you have this uh, kindly do share this to other people those actually you if you know any people who is uh, asthmatic or who is uh, COPD taking a inhaler so that he gets to know the proper use of inhaler proper technique and uh, proper the method of using the inhaler through spacer so that he gets maximum benefit out of the thing or else he will be using inhaler but he will not be getting any benefit and uh, the medications won't be doing any good to him so kindly do share this and uh, do like this video do subscribe this channel for such uh, more videos and uh, for such more videos on respiratory medicine do like this video do subscribe this channel do share this video thank you